and we getting closer to other support level as i told you guys around the 40 cent so where we gonna go we saw a big jump when we actually tested the 45 uh, cent and all the explanation for the prices for CTRM part to, uh, for today and for tomorrow and we which which should go for the next week really important 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 uh, prices we gonna discuss in this video before we go to the video please like and subscribe to my channel hit the notification so you never miss any my warning sign my resistant level and the support level that we actually expect for CTRM for common days and always tell you the trade in Jesus be patient and let's hunt for those prices as always told you guys and at my channel no editing no bs without any further ado and without bias and let's jump right to it as i told you in this previous video as i show you guys the last price fight as i told you we actually have a bit of fight here around the 50 and today we just went even to 45 cent and this is crazy guys because the moment I told you at this price at 55 cent the moment I told you when we go past the 55 cent there is a big big chance that we are gonna see a dive even to 40 cent around the 40 cent and guess what we hold up a bit then we went even to four, uh, 40 five cent exactly and this is actually usually always happened uh, when we have the big drop of uh, prices a lot of people bought and they think is the, the 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 bottom here it happened here guys uh, at uh, 25 of March and guess what we had the resistant and we boom we got back again to test the the last uh, uh, price we test from then boom we got uh, sell off then we got a bit uh, of jump uh, up again it gives us a bit of hope but we got a get uh, rejected at the 60 cent and now again we drop back to uh, the 45 cent then boom we got almost uh, 3 million guys 3 million worth of volume and guess what this uh, jump of uh, 3 million uh, again this is price that never actually justify the uh, the bump that we actually did with 3 million the the candle is still small and we never actually even touch uh, the 55 cent we just went to even 53 cent and we get this wake of rejection and now a red candle and we go even to 50 cent again so now again if we uh, go below the 50 cent again big massive uh, 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 price we're gonna see uh, go back uh, to test again the 45 cent before we actually see the 40 cent uh, as I told you guys it's like the price I did today Let, let's go to see uh, the small uh, picture to see more clearly look with me guys look with me here boom we got two candle rejection around uh, the 54 cent and we get re rejected exactly at the support or resistant level we have before uh, and let me clear this to see more clearly here and boom here we exa exactly get rejected that's why we actually have this jump then we never actually uh, have a closing candle above here in order to actually go above and we see a more higher prices first we need to close above the 55 cent guys but we have a big resistant level with our uh, AMI and we our uh, support level as I told you at the 55 this is acted as a really strong resistant and uh, the clear indication that we're gonna see a big buying pressure and we see the uh, this level uh, really important level resistant level at 666 here we or uh, first we have to have a candle above the 55 cent but as I told you guys we got a rejection boom really big massive rejection here about the 53 cent and the price now is dropping 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 and we have three candles now and by tomorrow guys if we never test again the 53 cent to go close about the 55 cent 
big 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 uh, incentive for the market that we actually go again to test first the 54 cent then if we don't hold up because if we don't hold up here we're gonna see the 40 cent and or even the 38 cent exactly guys yeah, again see with me this is uh the price when i told you uh i will go out from when i told you if the price went below the 55 or uh, 54 cent uh, we dropped uh from there 18 percent guys if you actually set the stop loss limit at least at this price you saved yourself at least 18 percent and you waited as i told you guys for the price to go at our price level around the 40 uh around the 40 cent uh, or uh, the 38 cent even like around the 40 cent is a good price uh, to see at least to hold up above this level uh, to see a bounce from this level again but the other uh, um, psychological level as i told you guys we need to hold above the 55 in order to actually change the trend because now the trend is really crazy guys we have this gap then we have this small gap now we have to see at least uh pick up in the momentum because we still actually never pass this uh important level at the 55 we tested we got rejected and uh, as we can see here the volume is actually dropping again this is before and we see a bit of uh, momentum of uh, volume uh, just 1 million then 500 almost one um, uh, today is was uh, the volume is uh, almost 1 million 500 K worth uh, uh, volume then actually sell off almost uh, almost uh, 1 million again so that's why we still hold up if we have uh, enough volume for for the last hour actually we have the last hour for our trading session if we just go above our resistant level at the 55 we need at least another 500k worth of volume to actually uh, broke this level and we have a closing candle this is uh, still a scenario but as i told you we wait for confirmation to overcome the resistant in order to actually see a reverse in the trend if we don't see uh, by today or even by tomorrow at even a test uh, for the uh, 55 we're gonna see the price going lower around the 40 cents so be careful guys and always be patient and always wait for confirmation to uh, average down or to buy down on lower prices and always guys tell you to have a strategy never jump in without a strategy define yourself which trader are you always say this guys because if you jump in and you just want to buy and you get FOMO this is a really not good um, uh, place for you because first if you want to trade or you invest first define yourself if you you want to hold for a long run by my all means just just buy and hold but when you uh, like you buy at 55 and you don't want to sell but the price w you, it go like below like 18 percent down for you uh, for your in initial investment never be emotional and angry because you could actually sell and buy low but you don't know where the price to buy at and if you sell a lot of people feel FOMO if just the price went up a bit they will feel FOMO and they buy so that's why you have to train yourself to have patient uh, patience and always define yourself are you longer and faster are you okay with losing 50% 40% if you just hold hold but at least average down at the right prices as i told you guys hunt for the right prices like when it go to 40 just buy average down at this price don't just buy at each cent if you calculate it this is not average you'll be losing money and your average will be really bad but 
uh, if you average down just under right prices as just noted at 66 at 55 at 40 you average will be much bigger and you gain more than and new money is all thing is probability everything in your life is probability the more you put probability uh, numbers in your life your life you'll be less emotional and less um, mistakes you do and you actually can predict the future a bit and lower your risks and this is uh, this uh, what uh, trading and investment taught me is by cut my emotion and have a risk to reward ratio because when you work with numbers you actually uh, and have a strategy you can calculate your risk exactly by percentage and never get in in any trade unless you calculate your risk prior to the trade this is how i do it this is how i survive in this uh, crazy market uh, time and this is how i actually be uh, emotionless uh, emotional uh, without emotion emotionless and as um, have uh, less attach uh, to any trade i will be more um, uh, more control uh, at my life and my trade because i already set prior uh, prices to get in and get out and without any emotion because i just review my trade review my uh, strategy plan i and the things i have to do the things i have to not to do and this is make your life really simple make your life simple by this and just take this advice even in your life and you could actually change everything and make your life more simpler and straightforward so as always at my channel i'm trying to make things simple without bias and without editing without bs guys this is what we do here at uh, trading jesus tribe always we hunt for the right price value without emotion and just hunt and just wait be patient and wait to dust to clear and just jump on the price and without any emotion uh, uh, without any m emotion actually attached with any trade so guys if you like the video like comment subscribe to my channel daily video with me so hit the notification so you never miss any of my future update daily daily update about ctrm and many many stock so uh, like comment subscribe hit the, uh, comment below if you have any um, question left and as always say let's hunt for the right price value and let's get right to it see you guys